and the mood of the recent council have been that this is the age <coughs> of the layman. Now, an uneducated, uh, theologically uneducated layman can give witness to his faith by his life, but only the theologically educated layman can enter into a dialogue with the modern world because he understands both his own faith and he understands the conditions of the world to which he's addressing the Christian message. The young preacher on the preaching band. And we are engaged in a rather specialized type of work in preaching special sermons to people in an effort to remind them of the things of God, the things of their faith. To remind them, for example, of the mercy of Christ, the love of God, and the forgiveness of Christ. In this way, we are fulfilling our own Dominican vocation as preachers to preach the living word of God. The regent of studies for the province. At this time, particularly, philosophy and theology, not only outside the church, but within the church, are undergoing a complete and thorough scrutiny. At this time, as perhaps never before in our own lifetime, there is need for vitalization of our seminary training. The prior of the House of Theology, the missionary from Pakistan, the editor and publisher, the dedicated scientist and philosopher, the man of the theater, the pastor in a large city parish, the historian and scholar. As I thought of these men, I really began to love the order more and to have more respect for what God was doing now with the sons of St. Dominic. <laughs> 